Welcome to No Excuses. My name is Mary Fran and this is my place to come talk about weight loss, life, cooking, fitness, everything that combines together to make us amazing people or actually even more amazing because we already are amazing. If you're new here, thanks for visiting. I hope you like what you see. I hope you subscribe, comment, like, and hit the notification bell and enjoy. Today we are participating in a collaboration that was created by Danielle over at Danielle Nicole on YouTube. You can visit her channel. Her link is in the description below. And she got a bunch of YouTubers together and we are creating our own recipe for the crock pot. Come on guys, it is fall. That means back to school, whether you're sending your kids or whether you are homeschooling them, Fall is happening and it's crazy. And sometimes when things are crazy, you need an easy meal to fix. So today we are going to be all doing crock pot recipes. There are a bunch of amazing YouTubers that are participating. Their links are down here in the description below. So go ahead, check them out, give them some love. So we are all just making our own crock pot meal or dish. I am excited because I am making a cheddar broccoli rice in the crock pot today. And I am actually going to be putting it together and filming it on my lunch break today. I am working from home and I'm gonna go ahead and get it in the crock pot during my lunch break. That shows you how quick and how easy this really is. So let's get to cooking. Off we go. For this recipe, you are going to need a couple different things. You're going to need to have some rice. You're gonna want olive oil spray or a liner for your crock pot. You're gonna need chicken broth. You're gonna need a cream of chicken condensed soup and a cream of celery. You're gonna need chicken and you're gonna need five cups of broccoli, which is roughly about two heads. Oh, and of course you're going to need a crock pot. So let's get started. This is very easy to put together, so let's get moving. The first thing you're definitely gonna wanna do is to clean your broccoli. Just wanna make sure it's nice and clean. Cut off any bad areas. So you're gonna cut your broccoli. You just wanna make sure it's all into bite-sized pieces. Nothing fancy, just smaller pieces, bite size. Next, we're going to take our chicken and we're going to open it. And mine's still a little frozen. Now I went ahead and rinsed my chicken. I usually like to rinse it and I'm gonna go ahead and cut off any, any little sections that look a little fatty don't need it, make it pretty. Okay, and then we're going to simply cut this into bite-sized pieces. Nothing fancy, nothing complex. So now that all of my ingredients are actually ready, we are going to put it all together. I'm going to start by spraying down my crock pot. You could use a liner, that is fine. However, I do not have any, so I'm going to spray mine down to make cleanup a little bit easier. We're gonna take our chicken, we're gonna pop that into the crock pot, and then I'm going to take my broccoli that I've cut up into pieces, and I'm going to Pop that into the crock pot. We're gonna take our cream of celery soup and we're going to add that in. I'm 
and our cream of chicken soup. We are going to add two cups of rice. And then we are going to add to this chicken broth. And we are going to add in three cups of chicken broth. And then we're just going to stir that to make everything mix together. I forgot one main ingredient. I forgot the cheese. How could I forget something that important? We're going to just use one cup of cheese. We're gonna mix that in with it also. And mix that around. put the lid on it and we're going to put it on low and we're going to let that cook for six hours on low or four hours on high. Now as you're watching it cook if you notice that it needs a little bit more broth you can add some more broth. If you don't have broth you can add water it doesn't matter. I usually use broth because it adds more flavor but it is very adaptable. So as you see, that was really easy. That will just cook all afternoon. And what I'm going to do and what I would recommend is go ahead and check it every once in a while. If it's looking a little dry, you can add a little bit more broth. And if it is looking a little wet, you can either turn it up to high or you can actually take it out and put it in the oven for a little bit. That will help get that moisture out. But I cannot wait to eat this. It is smelling delicious. So what I will do is right before we eat, I will open the crock pot. I will sprinkle a little bit more cheese on top just to give it a nice delicious layer of cheese on top. Close the lid and let that melt and then it is dinner time. So I am so excited to eat it because it is delicious. Thanks again for watching the video. Thank you, Danielle, for including me in this collaboration. And thank you to everyone that has participated. Everybody is linked in the comments below. So thank you and check them out. They're awesome. There are no excuses. We can still eat healthy when we're busy. We can still eat delicious, natural foods when we're busy. There is no excuses.